Hello, this is Captain. Welcome to the Build Challenge Echo. So this is going to be my fifth build challenge. This is another land-based challenge. And so a few weeks ago, I released these two chassis. So we have the light truck chassis and we have the car chassis. And so what a chassis is, is essentially it's the frame, motor, transmission of a vehicle. And so if we go ahead and look at these chassis, we're going to have the engine in here. I have a seat. I have a transmission and I have a couple microcontrollers. And then they're just sitting on wheels. The wheels are mainly here just to show you how you would hook everything up. That's why it's a different color. I also have pink for the exhaust and pink for the fuel tank. And that's so that you can move those around wherever you'd like. But the whole point of this challenge is it's going to be a stock challenge. So the chassis is stock. And so I did a live stream where I took the light truck chassis right here. Uh, this one here, and I turned it into this 1950s pickup truck. So the Build Challenge Echo is this, is to build a car or a truck from the 1950s, and you must use either the light truck chassis or the light car chassis. These are both in the workshop. They're linked. You can go ahead to the Discord, and you can read all the rules there. The rules are open for a certain period of time. You can go ahead. You can uh, ask questions. You can get your um, ask for some suggestions. You can go into the uh, forum and ask for any rule changes. The rules will be locked on July 17, 2023 at 0000. 000 uh, Eastern, so 0400 Zulu on the 17th, so midnight this Sunday, essentially. This is going to be the place where I spawn the vehicles. If you look here, we'll look at the map. This is the North Meyer Outpost. We are currently at this workbench here. All right, so here are the rules for the Build Challenge Echo. This challenge is to build a 1950s car or truck. This is a land-based challenge. The competition is mainly aesthetics, so this mainly looks... The reason why we have a stock chassis is I really do not care about how it runs. I want them all to run the same. I don't want you have to worry about building an engine, a transmission. The main thing with this is your job is to make it look like a 1950s car or truck. Uh, it's not even going to be really rated on how the engine do, runs. You want to put in a bunch of snazzy engine stuff in there? Uh, you can't. You know, it has... The whole point here is it's aesthetics. We're focusing on that one thing and we're taking away the other parts. The competition, the competitor will use either the car or truck chassis I released to the workshop. This will allow the competitors to focus on the look of the vehicle. The mechanics will be stock. So you're not going to be going in there and doing mechanical work. The point of me giving you a chassis for you to use is that you can focus on that look and you don't have to worry about uh, working on the mechanics. So here are the links for the car and the truck chassis. You can use either one of those. Chassis. You may not change the engine or transmission, mechanics, or micros. It is to remain stock. The challenge is about making the shell. You may move and resize the wheels or the piping to the wheels. You may repipe fuel and exhaust. All right, so here are the two links for the uh, chassis. The spirit of the challenge to build a car or light truck that has the feeling of 1950s using the stock chassis. The build size will be limited to the car garage at the North Meyer Outpost. That's the place I just showed. Infant electricity and fuel off, vehicle damage on. So you're going to have to hook up electricity and it's going to have to have fuel. A new build not previously released the workshop. Let's operate on the honor system here. Uh, this should be a newly started build at the time of the challenge. So nothing that you put together weeks ago. XML will be cosmetic and grip. So I changed that to add grip on 715 2020, uh, 2023 today at um, 8.35 p.m. And the purpose for that, again, this is not a mechanics challenge. This is a aesthetics challenge. This is for looks. So it doesn't really matter if, um, you know, if the tires are gripped. Size, whatever will fit in the car garage, the North Meyer Outpost, as you see, I, you know, it should be, if, if it's ridiculous, you know, and it doesn't look like it from the 1950s, you can probably lose points, but, you know, that, as you can see, I could fit three car chassis in there, uh, no problem. So you'll have no problem fitting something in there. Power, the required chassis, either car or truck, cost $50,000. Shouldn't be a problem, too. Remember, this is from the 1950s. If you have GPSs and moving maps in there, you're going to lose points. They didn't have GPSs and moving maps in the 1950s. Uh, testing methodology, I will launch the car or truck at the North Meyer Outpost. I will drive it to St. Alexander Hospital. I will check out the look and features of the vehicle. So just going to go right here from where we are to uh, St. Alexander. So it's a very, very short drive. Again, I'm not focusing on how this drives uh, very much. 
I'm mainly concerned on what it looks like. And then we'll check the look of the vehicle. That's going to be the main thing. Grading. Spirit of the challenge. How well does it conform to the challenge? So if you make something that has a bunch of LED lighting, you know, and it looks super duper modern, it doesn't look like a 1950s vehicle, it's going to lose points. The spirit of the challenge is 1950s. Human factors. How well am I able to interact with it? So it just, you know, this one's pretty simple because it's from the 1950s. You know, you're not going to be adding too much weird stuff on there. But, you know, if, if it's hard for me to get a hold of handles and I can't get, get to stuff that I need to be able to drive and, you know, my brakes aren't very good, stuff like that, um, you could lose points in that. Handling. This one is pretty much most people are going to get a 10. Again, you're using my stock chassis. You're not supposed to be, you know, if you change gear ratios, you're going to be potentially disqualified. If you change the engine, you're going to be disqualified. The whole point is aesthetics on this. The only thing with handling is, for example, 50-50 uh, weight distribution is going to be best. If it's, you know, if it's um, spinning around because you didn't do that, you can grip up the tires. I have tutorials on that. That is part of the rules. You know, uh, the chassis is all set up. It should handle fine. I built that truck on that chassis, so it should be fine. Aesthetics, 1 to 10. Aesthetics, this is mainly an aesthetics challenge. This is where you're going to be most, uh, where I'm going to be most critical is aesthetics. Handling again, does it handle fine? Can I get from, pretty much, if I can get from that garage to St. Alexander and it drives fine, everyone is going to get a 10. If it's a little bit wonky, maybe you might get a 9. You might lose a point. This is not a handling challenge. This is an aesthetics challenge. This is where people are going to get the most criticism is on aesthetics because that is the whole basis of this challenge is aesthetics. Workshop page. You can pick up a lot of points in the workshop page. Again, workshop page is, is 1 to 10. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not grading as critically on workshop page as I am aesthetics, again, because this is an aesthetics challenge, the looks of the thing. But you can make up some points here. You know, maybe it's not the best looker. Or you're struggling to make it look really good. And so you say, you know what? I'm going to go make a really good workshop page, pick up a couple points there. So you might lose a point or two in aesthetics and pick them up in workshop page. If you have really beautiful aesthetics and your workshop page is absolutely abysmal, you might lose a point in workshop page. Uh, winners, points winner again. So I'm going to add up all the points for these uh, different categories. And whoever is first in that will get the points winner. You'll have captain's favorite, whichever one is my favorite. And then the community favorite. Uh, you know, the community favorite is whatever the one, whatever, whichever one the community likes. And so you can win multiple times. Uh, many people have won captain's favorite and community favorite the same. Um, that's fine. Winners will be featured in the end credits of my video for a month. Winners will have uh, Discord roles added. If you look, there are a bunch of people who have those uh, Discord roles added. It's, I believe, purple. Uh, rules will be open to discussion from the posting of this announcement till, and like I said, this Sunday at midnight, my time. And they can be discussed here and in build challenge uh, discussions. I uh, can go up the forum here. I'll, I'll make a post. I forgot to do that. But, uh, you know, people have already been asking questions. For example, there was already a rule change for grip. Again, the point of this challenge is not like, you know, for me to race around a racetrack for an hour and see what best the best time can be. So it doesn't need to be super well handily. Again, most likely, if your handling is really bad, you might lose a point because that is not the focus of the challenge. The, the focus is aesthetics, looks. So if you're going to have to pick one or the other, Go for looks. Looks is what this is all about. And that's why I'm using the stock chassis is I want everybody to focus on looks on this one. Make something look really cool. That's the point. All right. So if you guys have any questions, you can come in here. You have build challenge discussion. You can post pictures in here. As you can see, Mr. G has a purple uh, name. That's because Mr. G is a previous winner right here. Build challenge winner right there. And so that will be on there. Um if we go into forums here, I will start a new post here. Build challenge here. Again, this is just the announcement here. Uh, build challenge discussion. This is where you guys can just talk about it. Share your pictures. Don't be afraid to post pictures. I, I used to like it with the New Jersey challenges that you would have a lot of people. They would be constantly posting pictures of the build. They'd be asking questions. They would help be helping each other. Don't be afraid of posting pictures of your build. Uh, it seems like a lot of people don't want to do that. I would highly recommend, you know, be, feel free to share it. You know, it's, um, you know, I think some people are afraid that people are going to steal ideas. 
you know, that's how you get better is the, is the competition. So, um, and that's how I think it, uh, everybody improves is having a little bit of pressure on there. Um, post submissions will not be open until I didn't say it, but let's say it really quick. So due date is July 31st at midnight. So, uh, that's when that's due. And so post submissions, I usually, I don't like opening them up early because I'll get people who spent 20 minutes on their build and they post it. You know, you have two weeks to do this build, a little bit more than two weeks, actually. And so I don't want people to be posting right away. And so I, I wait till, I wait till uh, usually a couple days before. Sometimes people will ask if, the, if I'll open it up early because they're going away or something. Uh, you know, if you, if you have a question like that, go ahead and put it in there. And, uh, you know, I've opened it sometimes when people uh, need to go away or just I get a link to their build and uh, I'll stick it in there. So... Uh, uh, build voting will come up afterward. So, for example, this was, it's usually after I put the video out so that people can actually watch and see what the video looks like. And then you'll come in here and you can uh, vote. And then uh, there's a, a verbal chat here in case you want to chat about. So that is going to be the build challenge uh, echo. So uh, go ahead in there and discussions. I uh, hope you guys are uh, happy about this one or in, and interested in doing it. And we'll see you later. Bye.